name is Chris Kaysen. I'm the tea sommelier for Tavalon. And welcome to Tea 2 I'm your host. Now let's get steepin'. No matter how good the tea is, if you steep it wrong, it's not going to taste that good. So today, we're going to show you how to make it right. And that's going to depend on three factors. Time, temperature, and volume. First, let's tackle time. When you think about it, all tea comes from the same plant. We all know this. Black tea can take it because it's hardy, where a green tea or a white tea is a lot more delicate. So you have to be gentle with it. Now, in terms of time, that means only about two to three minutes for green teas, as opposed to a black tea, which can go four to five minutes, depending on the strength you want. For black teas, you want to use water that's at a rolling boil, or about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. With green teas and white teas, you have to treat it a little more gently, just like we did with thyme, and only use about a steaming boil, or about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the last step in making a good cup of tea is the volume. The volume is not only important in that it affects the strength of the tea, but if you use too much, you're just wasting tea and therefore wasting money. The general rule of thumb for making a good cup of black tea is going to be about one teaspoon for every eight ounces of water. If you want the appropriate strength for a green tea, because the leaves are so big, you have to adjust accordingly. So what you want to do is use one and a half to two teaspoons for every cup, depending on the volume of the tea. Now that we know how to make a good cup of tea, let's actually do it. Now, first thing that we need is a good tea. This is one of my favorites. This is a uh, Japanese green tea that we mix with roasted rice. It's called a genmai cha. Uh, and remember, with green teas, we don't want to leave it in for very long, only two to three minutes. And we, we don't want to use boiling water because that would damage the leaves. And we want to use about a little more than one, one and a half teaspoons for this one. So I've got my trusty teaspoon here and I'm going to put it right into the gravity teapot, just about two teaspoons, and make sure that whatever you're holding your tea in, you close it very tightly, because tea is really absorbent of any other flavor, any other aroma, and uh, after a while, all your teas will start tasting the same if you just leave it out, or even worse, if you combine your tea and coffee in the same area, all your tea is going to start tasting like coffee. So now we've got our tea in our gravity teapot and all we need is our water. And my water looks just about done. So I'm going to pour it in here. Okay, I think our time is about up. This is looking good. Now with gravity teapot, to strain the tea, it can't get any easier. All you have to do is put it right on top of the cup and it strains for you. And what I like about the gravity teapot is it gives the tea room to expand and infuse its flavor. And when it's done, all you have to do is pick it up and it'll stop. As you see, no mess on the, on the uh, countertop either. So then all that's left to do is enjoy your tea. This is Chris Kaysen, Cavalon's Tea Sommelier, saying see you next week and Bon appétit.